question number 56 we have to find the range of fx as asked in the option a fx is sine of pi by 6 sine theta where by theta I mean to say pi by 2 sin x now sin x lies from minus 1 to 1 therefore theta the range of theta is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 therefore the range of sin theta is minus 1 to 1 so the range of this is minus pi by 6 to pi by 6 therefore the range of this expression will be minus half to half so option a is correct a is correct and option b the range of f o g x is asked and we can see the range of g x is g x is pi by 2 sin x which was as we considered theta so it is also from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and if it is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 which was earlier therefore the range of f g x will remain same minus half to half f g x belongs to minus half to half in c option it is the limit limit x approaching to 0 f x upon g x f x is sin of pi by 6 sin pi by 2 sin x f x divided by g x I will multiply this expression by its angle sin pi by 2 sin x I divided it I am multiplying pi by 6 sin pi by 2 sin x now the denominator g x which is pi by 2 sin x now we can see this limit is 1 this limit is 1 so the final answer is pi by 6 so c option is correct for d it is g f x equals to 1 g f x equals to 1 we have to find we have to verify whether there is an any x which satisfies this equation now g x is pi by 2 sin x so this equation will become pi by 2 sin f x is equals to 1 which implies sin f x we are expecting to be 2 by pi but we know that f x belongs to minus half to half and minus half to half is subset of minus pi by 6 to pi by 6 this is subset of this set minus pi by 6 to pi by 6 and in this interval sine will remain from minus half to half so it cannot be equal to 2 by pi so there is no solution so d is the wrong option a b c are only the correct options question number 57 it is a very simple kind of problem of vector algebra we have a triangle p q r a vector is representing q r r p vector is represented by b and p q vector is by c we have the length the length of vector a is 12 this is 12 this is 4 root 3 and this is unknown we have to find the length of c first of all and then we will verify every option we can see from the diagram vector a plus vector b plus vector c is null vector and we have been given b dot c so we will square this relation and utilize b dot c by squaring we will have a square which is 144 then b square which is 48 plus c square unknown plus 2 b dot c b dot c is 24 so it is again 48 so c square is also 48 implies the magnitude of vector c is 4 root 3 now we can verify option a and b using this also for option c 
we have this relation a plus b plus c equals to null vector. We will take cross product of b with this relation a cross b plus b cross b is null vector plus c cross b c cross b. Now we need the cross product of this relation with vector a rather than vector b. So it is a cross a plus b cross a plus c cross a equals to null vector. This is by 1 equation 1. This is null vector. This is when I shift it on the right hand side it gives us a cross b equals to c cross a. I will say this is information 2. I will use it in the option c. It makes it a cross b plus c cross a which is a cross b. So it is twice a cross b. Now to find the value of a cross b I will use Langridge's identity. It is 2 times square root of a square b square minus a dot b whole square. Now I need a dot b which is also required in option d. So we will use the relation first again. It is a plus b vector equals to minus c and after squaring we will have a square b square plus 2 a dot b equals to c square. This gives us a dot b equals to minus 72. It means option d is correct and when we will use this in option when we will use this in formation 4 and 3 we will come to know that this option C is also correct and this way we will have three correct options A, C and D. B option is wrong.